Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another episode of Downright Annoyed with Movies. Uh, this week, we are talking about Cowboys and Aliens with our usual cast of characters. Everybody is here this week, so that's always fun. Uh, but yeah, my name is uh, Jackson. I am with the uh, Just Annoyed podcast all by myself now. It's so sad. Uh, but anyways, I will let everybody else uh, introduce themselves, starting with uh, good old Mike. Hey, I guess that's me. Hey, I'm Mike from the Downright Nerdy Podcast. Um, a little bit of a hiatus right now, but uh, still doing these live shows. It's uh, been a ton of fun, and uh, yeah, can't can't wait to get into Cowboys and Aliens. Yeah, and I can't remember who was in the top right corner, so I'm going to guess that it's Cookie. So, Cookie, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, guys. Cookie from Just Little Podcast. Uh, yeah, I'm on li- a lot live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a lot of live stuff going on lately, which has been a lot of fun. Same as Mike as well. Uh, hopefully get into the podcast studio. Uh, I'm going to just throw up some stuff on the wall so it doesn't bounce as much. Uh, and then more YouTube stuff coming out, which is pretty fun. So definitely look up. Sweet. Thanks, Cookie. And uh, Paul is back. Hey, I finally made bail. And the guys <laughs> let me back on the podcast, so I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I'm Paul. You can find me on the Tales from the Flipside YouTube channel. And um, just... Uh, Check it out. A bunch of different playlists of cool comic and collectible content. Sweet. And uh, Ryan. Hey, guys. It's your boy, Ryan, from the Fake Nerd Podcast. Uh, we're a weekly pop culture podcast. Talk about movies, comics, video games. Uh, we run one to 3,000 hours long every episode because we, we we don't get to see each other anymore except for when we podcast. So now our, our episodes are ballooning in length every single week. Um, we recorded a three-and-a-half-hour Neon Genesis Evangelion discussion for the topic of the podcast. So the actual podcast is actually probably going to be like six <laughs> hours. So if, if you have time for that, check it out. I love doing it. Oh, my God. Where's the time? <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. And, of course, last but not least is Ken from Pinky's Out Podcast. And like Jack said, I'm Ken from Pinky's Out Podcast. We do a podcast on all your podcasting platforms. I'm mostly doing this on YouTube right now, but uh, – we got good things coming. We've got a podcast scheduled to be recorded in another week or so and a new logo coming out pretty soon. So watch for it. Sweet. Thank you, Ken. And uh, Ryan, it's funny you mentioned that because I swear like probably 10 to 15% of the time I've gotten on YouTube lately, fake nerd podcast is going live with, with something. <laughs> so all you have to do is subscribe to them. Yeah. Uh, pretty much live on YouTube apparently. No, man, we're, so. we try. I mean, um, a lot of us don't have jobs at the moment. I'm, I'm unfortunately the only one working. I went back to my job, and now I'm the only one working. So, like, we, we're, all still, <laughs> we're all putting out a bunch of content when we can because, you know, uh, we just love doing stuff together. Sweet. All right. So, yeah, this week's movie is Cowboys and Aliens. Um, I'm going to share what I think last. Mike, do you have the, the clock on you tonight or no? I can pull it up for you, buddy. Pull Just that clock. Can, do that. can you pull out a sundial? Oh, like just for all of you, I'm going to pull it out. Can you make it an old timey stopwatch, though? He's. I want the Mission Impossible old timey sound. Ready? And everything. Oh, man. All right, and we're going to start with you, Mike. So get ready to hit oh. the button and tell us what you think of Cowboys and Aliens. All right, so here's what I think of Cowboys and Aliens. When I first saw this movie years ago in the theater, I did not really enjoy it, and I I was getting ready to rip on this movie um, when I went to go see it again. Um, I pressed the play button, and for some weird reason, I don't know what it was, um, I had a great time for the whole two hours. Um, and uh, I don't know why I didn't like it before, but I do like it now. Don't even need four more seconds. Bam. All right. Uh, and as soon as the clock starts again, Cookie, you're up. All right. All right, yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I actually enjoyed it the first time I saw it, and I enjoyed it the second time as well. It's always been a great movie of just to – Sit back, relax. It's a family film. Um, the characters that are in there are really, really, uh, I think, well, well done, well actually portrayed. And it reminds me a lot of a comic book uh, that we will talk to in a little bit later because I only got eight seconds. So I'm going to go and BS for another five, another four, <laughs> another three, another two, and it's someone's up next. Using all of your time is not a requirement. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Uh, I thought it was great. Um, you know, I had heard my pre thoughts of it were I heard it was not good. Um, uh, so maybe back when it came out, but I really enjoyed it. I like that they dragged out the um, the mystery part of it as long as they did, and you got to enjoy the build up to it. 
And then once it was revealed, it was still enjoyable after that. So I thought it was a great ride from start to finish. All right, Ryan. Guess I'm the odd man out on this episode, y'all. All right, um, uh, do your 30 seconds. My realtor is calling. Uh oh. <laughs> um, so I think this is a great example of what happens when you have a great cast, a, a great director, um, a great premise. But even though you put all the ingredients together, I still find it to be a pretty lackluster, pretty boring summer blockbuster. Um, there's no reason this movie is almost two and a half hours long. I don't know why it's that long. Um, I think a lot of the characters are pretty simple. I think the story is very simple. Um, I think if you wanted to do something like this, you should have more fun with it. I found it very, um, um, a, like, uh, uh, I'm running out of time. It's very boring to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan and uh, Ken. Um, I liked it. It's a very simple sci-fi movie. Ryan's right. It's not complicated, and it is, it's an hour too long. I will agree. There's no reason it should be another hour after Olivia Wilde walks out of the fire naked. Really, the movie should just end at that. <laughs> um, you can't top that scene. Um, and Daniel Craig's um, uh, his American cowboy accent was terrible. What do you mean? He sounds great. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> You have to enunciate every word because that's oh, what was, that's what that's what how you sound American. You enunciate everything every like Doctor Strange. Oh, it was great. I I just laughed the whole time. I enjoyed seeing who I didn't realize was in the movie the first time, like Clancy Brown, the dude that played Kerrigan in the uh, Highlander movies. I love seeing that dude in everything. He, he yeah, he's him. great in that show uh, Billions that's going on Showtime right oh, now. Oh, I haven't seen like that a, one yet. Yeah, he was on the Goldbergs this last season too, as the woodshop teacher that was like missing fingers. All right. Well, oh. hey, guys, hate to break it to you. This movie right. sucks. Thank it's you, Jason. Boring. Oh, it's boring. Oh, it's so fucking boring. Four to two. Four to two. It's <laughs> so boring. Every, like all the special effects sequences, it's the same fucking thing. The ships fly overhead and grab somebody that they do that like four times. It's, it's so just, brown. It is uh. so brown. Yeah, it is in, incredibly boring. I, I I was bored out of my fucking mind. Like I could I could not believe that you couldn't make this fun. I thought um, in the chat you said uh, you enjoyed it. In the the first minute, I yeah. thought it was going to be good because it starts with like <laughs> See, badass Daniel Craig, like on a horse and kills a few up. guys. Yeah, right. yeah. See, I, I got was... I got fooled again because because uh, I remember not liking it the first time, and then I saw it and then rewatching it. And I'm like, oh wait, this starts pretty dope, right? And I, I'm yeah. enjoying it, and then it just keeps going, and then it keeps going, well, and then it keeps going. <laughs> it's it's funny too. I feel like like um, good westerns have spoiled some westerns for me too because something about and i know they do this every every western movie town is essentially the same right there's like the church the the sheriff's uh you know the jail and the saloon those are yep. like the three things you need uh this one felt like a set to me it felt fake uh it, it was it was all filmed in in the desert Oh, it was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> and then Harrison Ford is doing like the backgrounds. Harrison Ford's yeah. doing the same I'm thing that like in my movie. Harrison mean, Ford is doing watch. the same thing um that Al Pacino has start has been doing for the last 20 years where like he gets like movie. his gruff. All right, Ken, I'm talking. Hold on. Sir. <laughs> uh no, it, he gets this like gruff Hey, I'm Harrison Ford. In every scene, he's fucking terrible. The movie sucked. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say. Olivia Wilde's character like boggled my mind. I, I was like, oh, she's an alien, right? She's acting like an alien. Like if she's gonna have a twist, don't make her act like a fucking alien. Because it was so she was acting so weird that like it flipped on itself. Where I'm like, okay, well, there's no way she's actually an alien would it shock you to obvious. learn that this movie had five screenwriters no and i saw alex kurtzman as one of them and roberto orsi the two worst people in possibly of hollywood yes yeah this yeah I, <laughs> I i'm shocked i'm shocked by the four to two here guys i gotta tell you this movie is a stinker there's i will no, it there's no redeeming no, quality okay. to this okay can i can i uh interject real quick so but yeah go for it so um the way that I kind of approached this movie is that uh, I looked at it as one of those like summer blockbuster, turn your mind off type of movies where I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm not expecting like, the best. I'm not expecting the like in depth uh, uh, appeal is like a, um, like, like an Oscar type of, uh, an Oscar worthy film. I'm looking for something that's similar to like an Independence Day with Will Smith or something like that. Independence Day is um, way better than this. 
Oh no, it is. Don't get me wrong. No, hundred percent. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you. But this is definitely one of those films where I'm. I was able to uh, enjoy what it, it took. It, it like I don't know if you like when you see some a, a title like Cowboys and Aliens. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh, this is like snakes on a plane. Yes, right? but it's not that. It's boring and super right. serious. It's not. See that? I don't. I don't see that. With all the arguing, we've scared Cookie away. Yeah, no, no, no. But, but but Michael, that uh, to Ryan's point, that's where I think even in what you're describing, it fails miserably. Like even like you know, like I think of like the Transformers movies, just dumb as shit, right? But but like at least oh, this like my way better than Transformers. No, it's not. It's not oh, as fun God. to watch. I have fun with Transformers because yeah, not, exactly. Not, seriously, I would much rather watch Megatron yeah, and Optimus I, I, Prime I'm say honest, dumb Ryan, shit. I think that Transformers doesn't take it serious. I think this takes it more serious than Transformers does. Right, and that's I the problem. It's, more... it's so fucking boring because it's, it's trying to be... Yeah. Like, you you have to have more visual stimulation in a movie than like this than, okay, every 20 minutes a, a ship flies over and grabs someone. I mean, literally... Well, I, think that this, I think that that was more for like... The, the way that I think Fabro wanted to, wanted to portray this film is like, okay, what would people in this age think of something that is so absolutely like way far in advance like they didn't even like there was no it, it's not like us where we have movies on on science fiction or we have movies on aliens they had nothing like that going on in their head he called so it a they, they're, they're like okay what is this weird thing that's coming down like they don't know how to how to process all that information and i think they 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 showed that um I know it seems slow for a lot, especially for right, when you watch that poor thing. She hated it, um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. but uh, like, like she, like she, she said the same thing. Like, I want more action, want more things. Like, but at the same time, like I think they're showing these aliens through the eyes of these Westerners, and it's the way that they're interpreting it. It's a very slow, gradual. Um, uh, I guess it's it's a gradual um, realization. Realization, I guess, yeah. Until until it gets to the point, like towards the end, where they have that final, like, stereotypical battle. Yeah, whatever. Okay, but uh, uh, I mean, I'm not disagreeing with you in the sense that, yeah, there were definitely some some uh, very stereotypical tropes and uh, and um, and uh, things that were going on. Um, like 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 you said, uh, Harrison Ford doing his best uh, Christian Bale Batman was. Uh, yeah, it was it was bad. Yeah, this is my um, town. This is so, my town. So, I think. Go ahead, Paul. Uh, just real quick. So, uh, Fabro is that how you pronounce his name? John yeah. Fabro. 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 So he so he did so he did Iron Man and Iron Man Two, yeah. and those were both two and two plus hour movies. So I wonder if that was like all he knew recently. Like that was his current front, you know, mindset. Before is, that, he made Elf. Well, he didn't, and he didn't write this. Two hours. So you know let's I mean? yeah. let's not put the blame on him. No. I mean, honestly, this is not a poorly directed movie not outside at all. of maybe Harrison Ford's acting, which I don't think you're going to get him to act any better than he did. But 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 like what you just described, Michael, is my problem with the movie is like what an interesting premise and something cool. Cowboys and aliens and like what would it be like if aliens showed up back then and all this shit. But it's just. So yes, oh. exactly. So when in my mind, you know, when I'm a kid and you know you're playing you know, cowboys and Indians on, on like the, the the playground or whatever, right? You're imagining when you imagine cowboys and aliens, this is probably what you imagine. But the problem is, movies are supposed to be better more than your imagination. This is like the most cookie cutter, like boring. Again, it's so brown. There's like the flying ships, like they look pretty cool. I like the alien design. I like all the all the designs of all the stuff. But just everything is so flat noted and and, and colorless. And like the cinematography is good sometimes, but I just, again, I found like the length to be a big problem. There was not enough action for a movie called Cowboys and Aliens. Yes, I'm going to this movie to see a big summer blockbuster. This feels like a slow Western with aliens thrown in there. Okay. And, if, oh. if and to be quite honest, I think that's that might be what I liked about it, that it was a slow Western with aliens yeah. sprinkled in there. Yeah, I but think it's I, a bad I, Western. You reboot it's a slow, this movie, Ryan. It's a slow... Who do you put in this movie if we reboot it? Say, I'm sorry, say that again, Ken? Who do you put in this movie if we reboot it? Well, first, I would cut the length of it in half. Um, and then you just get any other... And like, like a Netflix feature type hour and a half movie? I would say... I mean, I don't know, because like I don't know what I want from this movie, because this is based off a comic. Like I don't know what the best version of this would be. I, I want When I think of this, I want it to... 
again, this is just what I think. I want it to be more like a snakes on a plane. When I hear Cowboys and Aliens, if you're going to give me a stupid ass title, I expect <laughs> a stupid ass movie. And again, it's not the fault of the movie for wanting to do something more, but I also feel that the more was not enough. It felt the more, the more was fake more just yes. because it's slow and boring doesn't mean that it has any sort of, I mean, it's so predictable. And there's no depth, happens the it. length yeah. and it's all surface level. Like it's mm -hmm. just like the stuff with Olivia Munn, like she's, she's a, she's a, uh, Olivia Wilde, excuse me. She's a great actress. She's playing this, this ET uh, like, uh, alien role. Um, it turns out she's not one of their aliens. She's another alien race that we're just supposed to totally accept. It's totally fine. Like, oh, here's this yeah. entire other plot. I, yeah, this that plot hole was It's great. just like, it's it's obviously five people wrote this movie because they like can't have the a single... I liked how the Apaches just accepted she was an alien. I yeah. love that. I love that. Oh, yeah. They Real quick. And she just walks out naked and they're just like, oh, yeah, that happened. Oh, it's our God. Real yeah, quick, I before before I toss it to Cookie, because I know he's just, you know, talking his <laughs> head off over there. Okay. Um, but, but okay, so there were a couple scenes in particular that were like, this is just awful. First off, when the kid stabs the alien, it's so, it's so blatantly set up that it's just annoying. You're just like, okay, he's going to stab him in the heart, whatever. Okay, that's fine. Nice but the up. part... But the part where the the Native Americans like capture them and they're going to they throw Olivia Wilde's like body on the fire and they're basically going to murder all these people. And it's like, holy shit, like they're going to murder everybody. This is crazy, you know, and then. And then all of a sudden, Olivia Munn, or Olivia Wilde, excuse me, <laughs> damn it, Ryan. Uh, Olivia Wilde <laughs> gets up and thing. walks out of the fire. And then it's like, oh, everybody's good now. And, and I don't understand why that would mean everybody's good. She's now. the mother of dragons. Like, yeah, she's, I mean, like, I, she's, she's like a god among men. Like, you better listen to me. I will say I, the one, the one, um, the, the quote unquote research that went into this movie, of course, like aliens are real, but like they, the designers of the aliens oh. and the ships and stuff, they did take, oh, sorry, they did take um, inspirations from like um, what the ancient civilizations that these people thought existed. So like Native Americans, what they thought their gods looked like or what their alien, um, like um, um, uh, drawings and hieroglyphs and stuff. Um, so like they did a little bit of research to like make that tie in together. So like I get that, but I don't think, again, the execution of it all is just like, Kind of bleh. See, I don't know. I love the fight scene at the end with the aliens. I, I liked how the aliens were done. I thought I thought it was kind of neat how they were almost like crab like, but yet still had a, a bipedal form. I like their arms. Yeah, yeah. That whole thing was kind of cool. That reminded me of um, Independence Day. Um, you know, the scene where Brian or Brett Spinner gets used like a little puppet for the yeah. Alien. So I don't. I like Mike though. I didn't go into this movie expecting to be like just wham bammed wowed by it. It's just, it's just I mean, I was because I saw Iron Man and Iron Man's incredible and Elf's incredible and Zathura's really good and Iron Man 2's fine. See, so I, 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 I have a precedent for John Favreau doing really good stuff. I expected dumb fun. Three. I, th I expected the dumb fun and instead it was just dumb. There wasn't fun. That's what's missing, I think. I, I didn't have any fun with this. But Cookie, Cookie, uh, does your mic work or? It works. It works great. I was right. just taking it all I in. Like, I feel like Jackson and Ryan are like the two grumpy old Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm the one who yeah, likes every I single movie. I'm, on that. I'm, Ken, I, you are the one who doesn't like all the movies that I choose. You this, didn't like this two is the movies, one though. movie. This no, one this movie. is the second movie. Okay, second out of 20, excuse me. I love <laughs> Earth and Romance. That is so not true. I enjoyed that movie. Okay. I'd watch him during love 10 times over this again. Oh God, no! Yeah, uh, but Cookie, See, Cookie, what, really Cookie what did you 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 liked this? What did you like about it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what what's your you know what is it about this flick that that uh, rubbed you the right way, so to speak? Um, well, I, I, every single time I do this show with you guys, I always get a totally new take on a film, which I I love because like I always come in with the mindset of okay, this is what I watch, and then when you guys talk about it, I'm like, crap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, like, I kind of ping off of you guys a lot on what you guys are kind of taking through the film. I, I saw it as, like, a John Carter meets, um, like, Stargate SG-1. Like, it was a Don't say John of, Carter. Don't say John Carter near I, this I, movie. I, I love oh, John – hold on. I love John Carter. Oh, I am a comic book fan of it. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. I'm a fan of it. But I feel like those two films, like, mash up together, and they – popped out a baby and you look at it from the, the standpoint of a title and it's like, okay, Cowboys and aliens. I'm not expecting anything else besides a generic film. That's not going to wow me. 
and it really didn't wow me, but it Don't entertained you me. Better than that cookie, though. Shouldn't you expect better than than bad? Should you shouldn't go into a movie knowing, oh, I guess this is gonna be shit. That's not fair to you. <laughs> and, <laughs> I don't, I don't like that. I don't. I wouldn't say it like that because like, I went into watching like Surf Ninjas for the a million time as like, okay, this is gonna be the greatest movie ever, and you guys all just like I mean, on it. This was better than Surf Ninjas. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. I'll give it that. that was, yes. I'll give it that. Oh, man. Um, oh, hold hold on, Cookie. I do want. I do want to. I do want to <laughs> verify, Cookie. Though I am a John Carter super fan. I okay, love, 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 love John. No, we're all Carter, in agreement. But, there, Cookie. but John okay, Carter man, has like character development, and I give a shit about the title character, and I care about the romance, and it has and lore, I care about everything, and happening. backstory. Yeah. Well, right. I, I, and it's still I, dumb fun in a way, so it can do both. You know what I mean? I, Why can't I it do both? I definitely agree. I feel that, okay, with um, you guys talking about, like, Iron Man, from what I was told, John Favreau said, all right, guys, here's my basic script that I have. I want you guys to improv the entire crap out of the film. They were and, improv it, like, daily. Like, the fact exactly. that Iron Man is as good as it is is a revelation in movie making. So I feel that, like, John Favreau didn't do what he was supposed to do, which is let good actors act. Mm. And if he did that, I think this movie would have been a, a superstar movie. But it is just Ooh. a generic film. You're right. actually you're right, Cookie. You're right, real real quick, Jackson. Because John Favreau comes from Swingers, um, which is a exactly. comedy improv movie. He did Elf, which is a comedy improv movie. Um, he's he's done comedy of, stuff yeah. for for a long time. Um, and it's all improv of his back history until he came up to what Mowgli, and then of course Lion King. And Lion King, unfortunately, wasn't what we all expected. He it might to be onto something. Mowgli no, he was did an do okay he, film. He didn't do the Mowgli Mowgli Jungle, Jungle on Netflix. Book. He did the Jungle, Jungle Book. Book. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Jungle Book. Yes. Um, but no, I uh, and, and you know I love that point too because that was another thing watching the movie is like the first five to ten minutes, people keep popping up who I love in like everything they're in. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching it and I'm like, how the hell could this possibly be as bad as people are saying? Like I'm excited. I was getting pumped to watch it, and then all of a mm -hmm. sudden, like I hit a point in the movie where I was just like. Oh my God, this is just so boring and predictable to me. I can't even take it. I like, I love Paul Dano. I love, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love Walton Goggins, you know, Wally did, Goggs, I, man. Did, so did anyone I, else just want to punch Harrison Ford's like unruly kid entitled? Oh uh, my God. Yes. That's Paul Dano, yeah. That's the character. Oh yeah. He's great yeah. at playing that type of role too. That's your new so. Riddler. That's your new Riddler guys in the new Batman movie. Nice. <laughs> Nice, but yeah, go ahead. Now Mike hasn't in spoken in a while. He's he's probably wanting to. I just put the uh, offer down. Oh, oh. Hey, hey, win, <laughs> win it, yeah. We'll see. Hey, we'll see. Right, right. Well, hey, if you're hey, listening, um, uh, Dwight Schrute is selling his house there in California. I saw, so you could always move into who? Dwight, <laughs> Rain Dwight Schrute. Dwight Schrute. Oh, you can definitely afford, the, afford that house from the office. <laughs> from the office. Oh, is he? Oh, Rain Wilson. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, now, Mike, it's it's nice to see that you have your priorities straight, though. I mean, I know, what right? comes first? Why are you, you know? adulting when we're trying to talk nonsense? Uh, yeah. Cowboys. I mean, come on. You're supposed to go away for like six episodes and then just show yeah. up at your new house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the fort made out of cardboard in the background. Right. Yeah. So if, if, if it makes you feel any better, I haven't put out anything else other than hanging out with you guys. So, but you guys Wait. are keeping me sane. So thank you guys. No. Um, uh, I'm going to just shut up because I've talked enough during this show. I passionately, this is the kind of movie that like it's okay. It, so it's probably not even in the bottom quarter of shit that we've watched, like no. as far as overall quality, but this is the kind of movie that offends me the most because it's just boring. It, right? There's no reason it needs to be. Yeah, you liked Enduring Love. And that was like, one of the Enduring best Love was interesting. Ever in <laughs> Enduring Love was interesting. Like I, well, I was intrigued. More interesting than that. I mean, in the army now was fantastic oh, too so i'll agree that was just marginally better than enduring love <laughs> oh god well, i gotta say i, I just before we uh, get into our uh, grades um <laughs> this is one thing i actually was i was really hoping that we'd finally get to a point where it'd be like either three on three or four on two or something <laughs> like that um because i mean like dude there's a movie out there for everybody like that it's it's <laughs> I mean, if, if someone likes something, then yeah, it's fun to, you know, give give each other crap about it. But at the end, you know, hey, you someone like this movie, sure I don't care. It is what it is. I'm not going to buy it on Blu-ray. I'm not going to like, if I see it on TV, I'm, I'm, I, I'm still going to look at like 10 other channels before I put it on. But it's still, it was still fun for me. 
Um, yeah, and it, again, and this, for, is not, this is not the worst was, thing ever. Yeah, just, just like I think, to be quite honest, I think the, the main reason why I loved it so much is I love everything Cowboys and I love everything Aliens. And they put that thing together and I'm just... I just got excited. That's it. Doesn't, Although, were doesn't you like that, with the screen when person? I know you. You're, you're like, doesn't that? Shouldn't that offend you even more that it was so so bad? No, like, it, it should it, make you sad. Why. It should no, make you sad, happy? Michael. Oh I, god, I, think I, about I, saga. Think about the saga western part. Oh, Why can't so this be like that? Saga? I think if you cut out oh, like like legitimately, <laughs> <killing me. laughs> you cut out like 30, 45 minutes of this movie. Cut out side characters that are not necessary. That that their that their core stories are not important to the story. I think you can have a really fun like ninety minute Cowboys Alien story. This, but it's almost it's two hours and fifteen minutes. It's like an epic. There's no reason that. Oh, this you watched the extended was, version. I, what, <laughs> was there an ex? Oh shit! That's all. You did the, the the original version is an hour and fifty. What? What? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe, oh, maybe there's a better but version. Actually, <laughs> Ryan, uh, to your to your uh, um, credit, uh, what I would like to see if we were to do it again, um, I haven't read it yet, but I did buy the trade paperback volume one of Cowboys and Aliens. And from what people have been telling me is that it is a bit different from the uh, graphic novel. They just took bits and pieces. So I'm curious to see um, after I read it, uh, you know, if, if that would maybe be a better story to tell. Who knows? Yeah. Um, there is a, uh, the same time this comic, around the, the time of this comic coming out, there was also a Grant Morrison comic called Dinosaurs versus Aliens that the guy from Men in Black, uh, Barry yeah. Sonnenfeld, was going to direct. But Cowboys and Aliens did not do well. So they scrapped that project real quick. <laughs> So who knows? We could have had a cool dinosaur alien movie, maybe. So, so uh, there's a there's like a uh, an really really old like the old remember like the from the fifties or sixties like the old claymation um, type of special effects that they had. There was one where it was like cowboys and dinosaurs, where you see a whole bunch of like yes. cowboys like wrangling a, a dinosaur, like a clay purple dinosaur or something. Yes, um, I have seen this movie. It's it's the what you're about. Um, oh, it's gonna bug me. Oh, it was on like the Saturday morning. Anyway, that was also an interesting premise. I wouldn't mind seeing an updated that. So. All right. I have so, two uh, questions for you guys. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Do you guys think that the genre of Westerns is dead and gone? No. No, no, no genre is ever dead. It no. just takes a good movie to repopulate it. No genre is ever gone. Okay. I will say, though, uh, that um, Westerns are becoming more and more difficult to stay fresh and with fresh ideas because so much of our has already been done with uh, – with uh, westerns, but either way, I'm, I'm still going to see pretty much every western I've ever seen. Westworld, you know, I'm still going to watch. I have a, uh, I have an interesting thought, um, and I know I get into arguments with people over this movie. No, but my favorite, my favorite movie a few years ago was Hell or High Water with uh, with Chris Pine yeah, and yeah, Ben yeah. Foster, and I would say that's a western that takes place in modern times. 100. Um, Never heard and of I think that that movie is a masterpiece. I really do. So if you have not seen Hell or High Water, is it better it. than uh, The Cowboy Way? I don't know. I have. I don't know if I've seen The Cowboy Way. I don't know if I, I don't I, know if it's as good as like I've The Unforgiven. The, but no, it's not as good as Unforgiven. It's it might. It, I love it. It's Hell weird Hell. because The Cowboy Way is just a different movie. You just uh, you'd have to it's a cowboy movie watch. in modern times. Oh. Yeah, it, but it's it's just different. It's just different. But yeah, um, Hell or High Water was Chris Pine. It had Jeff Bridges in it as like the sheriff who's tracking him and his brother down. They're like bank robbers, uh, and uh, it's excellent. Oh man, dude, Unforgiven. You know that that's Unforgiven, really, man. That is probably Gene, Gene Hackman's like Gene Hackman's, Hackman's like top ten villain of yeah. all time in Unforgiven, man. I love oh. Unforgiven. Also, I, the Quick and the Dead, another great western oh, directed by Sam Russell Crowe, baby. Yes. Russell Crowe, baby. <laughs> That was good, Paul. That cookie, was what, good, Paul. Like what was your cookie? What was your second question? Yes. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> um, as a kid, I remember reading this book as a kid, and I think they came out with a film, but I think it was like kind of crappy. And I always thought like the genre, I wouldn't say it's died, but it's definitely taken a new form when it comes to Westerns. Like Mandalorian, I feel like is definitely a Western that's set in space. Yeah. Um, I also, in John yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's because of, yeah. Um, so I've always thought of Indian in the Cupboard. I don't know if you guys read that oh, book. As oh, wait, I had the toys. <laughs> so I've always loved that, and I've always wished somebody would bring it back and do it as a modern take, like how it is now. That'd be fun. Yeah. And Indian I would see that as a Western. 
I don't know about a I Western, guys, but I don't know. Know. a really fun adaptation uh, or remake of that now. I mean, if you want to focus on like Western, It'd probably be on Disney Plus. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so all this talk of westerns and nobody's brought up Blazing Saddles. Oh boy! Oh, <laughs> come on! Yeah, of course. <laughs> Tombstone. Classic. Where am I looking at? I have a feeling Blazing Saddles couldn't get released today. <laughs> oh no! Just a, a small <laughs> chance. I doubt that would happen. But yeah, it would Blazing not work. <laughs> no. But um, yeah. So grades, uh, Mike. Let's hear your obnoxiously overbloated grade of Cowboys. <laughs> right. So I'm going to give this an A plus. Um, <laughs> Good for you, Dan. Bye. Bye. <laughs> no, I, I would give it a uh, uh, a C teetering on C plus or C minus, um, low lower lower than average. Okay, Paul. Yeah, same seven out of ten C C plus area. Just like a good just popcorn zone out. And if you know, Gosh, when you say seven out of ten, it makes it sound so high. I might go six out of ten. Seven is like the safest number. Like there was a a, a CEO who's like, <laughs> I asked these people this yeah. important question. And I, I sound on a grade of one to 10, but you can't say seven, like it's, purposefully, like seven is the safe number. Six is too low, but seven is like, <laughs> yeah, it, it is yeah. true. A six and an eight are like drastically different things. Right. So that yeah. actually is a really smart <laughs> idea. If that you were doing nice. the one. Like All it. psychological. Yeah. Right. Uh, Ryan. Um, what is the grade that's literally like <laughs> one right above complete failure? Because that's what it is. D minus. D. D I'll minus. give it. No, no, no. I've never achieved that grade, so I'll give it a D. Like it's a, there are there are cool ideas here. It just if it, it, I feel like I, there are so many different types of movies that it's trying to be, and I just I it should have just picked one and just did it. Because it tries to be funny, but it's never too funny. It's straight up a western, but it's also an alien movie. Like I just felt it was pulling, it was pulling apart so much. So I'd give it like, yeah, like a hard D. Give it the D. Give it the D. Give it the D. Hey, no, this is Ken. I'll give it a B minus. I'll okay. buck the curve here. I liked it. It's it's one of those movies that I didn't have to think. I just enjoyed it. It made me chuckle a few times here and there, and. And like I said, I enjoy seeing those actors that you don't see anymore, like just pop up, like Clancy Brown. I as soon as I saw him, you know, he's stitching up the wound, and he, you know, here's this big bloody wound, and he's leaning down right next to the wound to bite the suture. <laughs> That's just great stuff. He shows up in Mandalorian again with John Favreau. I can't wait. I can't wait. And uh, Cookie, I give it a solid C. It's it's not a fantastic movie, but it's a movie like everybody's been saying. Could pull off a chair and just eat some popcorn, get some dipping dots, and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brandon, ahead. Brandon from the Fake Nerd Podcast says, "Future Book Club, uh, Dinosaur versus Aliens." Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you uh, choose now, it, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna give this a D, but this is a D that I would I would rather watch like Mac and Me than this. Um, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I get more Fair joy. Though. I get more joy and entertainment out of Mac and Me than I did this. I can watch Mac and Me twice in the same amount yes. of time. I watch this. Right. Oh. <laughs> I will never. I will never watch this movie again. Like that's just. I have no reason to ever Two watch this again. So, Two and, <laughs> out. So yeah. So um, what? Yeah. Go ahead. Who, you uh, this was you? a rando. It was oh, a rando. Like a rando. Oh, yeah. So it was um, not me. <laughs> Again, glad I saw it, but uh, but that's it now. Uh, let's see here. So uh, we've got a few oh, people boy. in the chat. So first, I'm going to um, pick. We're going to pull up the wheel for who picks the next movie, and then while that person's deciding which movie to pick, I'll pull up a genre wheel. So pretty much just the four. Hey, and don't forget, let's do a scary one for the top for 100. <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, yes. <sighs> Thank you for reminding Top me. Top 100 horror movies. Let's All right, hold on. That's yeah, that's not the official. Trying. That's not the official spin, guys. That wasn't that's the. Not. Oh yes, it was. That was the official spin. So, so. I think yeah. So the treatment. So oh, let's. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here? Uh, oh. so <laughs> All right, so we are going horror, even though I kind of want to watch Dick Tracy, but I'm not going to just go that. for Dick, man. Who doesn't like Dick? No, we just got a D. We don't need more D. I'm not. I'm not. Into Dick, but <laughs> Cookies just so scared. there was a um, pick the scariest one. Pick look at a uh, light child scare. 
So Go you're going to steal the choice? You're going to say that's not the official win until you won? No, I won, <laughs> so we're going to go with it. <laughs> All right, we'll give it to you because we like you. Um, so officially, it's a cookie to win. <laughs> By the way, when I title this next episode next week, I'm putting an asterisk, all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like, just like uh, what's his name in the Hall of Fame? Um, yeah, like McGuire or whatever his name is. You're going to have to, uh, so we're going to do a, we're going to do a genre pick as well here. And then I've got to remember the name of the goddamn movie I watched. Uh, hold on a second. He's, he's so been waiting this open. long. Can't remember. I know, right? It's only <laughs> no, I mean, 30 weeks. I mean, 30 weeks. That's because his brain I, is hurting from dark season three. And what are we missing here? We're missing uh, sci fi got taken off last week. We've got, oh, wait, no, never mind. We got them all. Okay. So we're going to run this. Give us something completely different. Yes! Yes! No! Yes! God! Yeah. Yes. Jeez! Oh, poor Cookie. Oh, man. All right, so everybody throw horror movies into the chat. chat. Um, and then what we are going to watch is a film called The Ritual on Netflix. Oh, oh that it. just sounds bad already. Oh, oh I, I, I saw this. Yeah. Nightmares? That. Am I going to get on, nightmares, this many, guys? Pe- this many people have seen it? Yeah. No. That's a good movie. I've okay. never seen it. It's a good movie. I've okay. never seen okay. it. Oh, okay. I remember this trailer. I wanted to see this movie. It's good. I'm excited. I, I don't watch many horror movies, but this Ooh. is good. I'm excited. Am I going to get so, nightmares? Yes. Yes. Jeez, uh, guys. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's Big strong scary. man like I'm you get nightmares. I'm not going to say officially, but you might cry in your sleep and your wife might question your manhood. I'm, I'm so she's already done other- that already. So I guess she's probably used to it. <laughs> This movie directed a really good horror movie called The Signal that I really... You haven't seen this, Ryan? I haven't, no. Oh, God, it's good. Okay, fine. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. Um, I'll save the one that I actually wanted to pick for the last six months. We'll save it just because Cookie. So we'll go with Was The Signal good, Ryan? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's like... uh, It has like three... It's directed by three different people. So there's three different sections and they're all completely different. Huh. You're talking to like that's weird. I don't ever watch horror, and these are two movies I've seen. So. Yeah. All right. So uh next week it will be the ritual. Uh it's on Netflix. <laughs> and uh like, yeah, enjoy uh, cookie, 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 cookie. Enjoy enjoy the last 20 or 30 minutes of this one. Really uh, enjoy it. Uh, snuggle up. Well, my hands <laughs> take a relaxing, man. yeah. Take a relaxing, you know, a pill of some sort and enjoy. It. <laughs> I recommend yes. a nice barrel aged stout. <laughs> All right. So yeah, so hey, this has been another episode of uh, of of uh, downright annoyed with movies. Um, I see that we've got The Exorcist in the chat now. Um, hold on, Ooh. so we need a horror movie from everybody here as well. Yeah, uh, it looks like Michael. Started, are you the one? I, I started from a whole bunch. Yeah. Okay, so let's go, uh, Paul. What's a horror movie? <coughs> Jason lives. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I was going to say that, but then you, you, you took the words out of my mouth. I will say uh, Dawn of the Dead, the original cut. That's yeah. Good. That's, good. That's good. That is good. I like that movie. Oh, and pies and zombies' faces. I love it. Uh, Ryan? I'm going to pick my favorite horror movie from the past 10 years. It's called Hereditary. You stole mine, so that's good. Sorry. That's it's good. a scary no, thing to me. Like, you... It messes you up good. That was that was the other one that I might have picked tonight, yeah. but I wanted something a little bit more off the beaten path. Um, yeah, and Ken, what do you got? Horror movies. I'm, I'm going to pick something from my childhood that used to scare the living sh- crap out of me. Killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a classic. Cook, Cookie, one. I know good you one. don't watch horror, but do you have one that, uh, that you can pull out here? Yeah, uh, I would go with uh, Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah. All right, we'll count it. Oh, well, that's a great it. fucking movie, by the way. Okay. Oh, yeah. That would be right. if that wins. That's you're never going to beat that movie, Cookie. That's all right. I mean, other than Star Wars, I guess. I guess Star Wars. <laughs> uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mike, do you have? Well, you're the one throwing all these. Out, yeah, I'm so throwing. All, I mean, if I had to choose one of them, I have never seen it, but I heard I heard good things about it called Train to Busan. It's oh a, God, uh, the sequel's coming out soon. It's one of the best zombie movies ever made. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been hearing. I, I, I've it's never awesome. seen it, and I'm to be honest, I'll probably actually end up watching that tonight. So, it's on Netflix, I think. Yeah. 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 Right. What is it? Train to Busan. Yeah. What's yeah. um? What's Mara? So, the one in the chat. Mara. Yeah. The, um. That's another one I haven't seen yet. Is on Netflix. It got high high reviews as well. Huh. Uh. So I, you know, again. So I, I I've got Mara a few. Jackson. 
This I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw out three. I'm going to throw out three. Add them all to the list, Mike. If you're doing a list, there, I know you're probably just purchasing a house. No, I actually am just purchasing a house. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, and I'm actually going to type it in the chat so that we have it here. I'm going to say the oh. omen. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say it's all for uh, you. Yeah, so God, it's a classic. Uh, I am going to say The Descent. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, how about um, that? Oh, is a good one. Event Horizon. A good oh, one. Yeah. okay. Speaking my yeah. language. <laughs> Event I got another Horizon. One. Space Hulk. Hills Have Eyes. Yo. I Which one? That original guy. or remake? Original, original. Or three, I interviewed Daniel Berryman for the mainframe Comic Con uh, thing. I interviewed that guy. From oh, Ryan. did you really? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Ryan, did you ever watch Ooh. In the Mouth of Madness? Yeah, John oh. Carpenter. Yeah. Yeah. Neil, that's, that that's crazy. an underrated uh, gem. What a gem. Was that three, Jackson? We cut you off good. I know. Yeah, no, I'm just <laughs> I typing think you guys need to all watch Eurovision tonight. We're going to actually, no joke, Ken, I think we are actually going to watch it tonight in my household. <laughs> I watched it last night. It's awesome. I'm so excited. It, Would it, you guys consider Shaun of the Dead? No. No. Or, that's no, comedy, that's right? Comedy. It's. it's it's more comedy, I'd say. It has scary I, stuff, but it's a comedy. Gotcha. All right, know. another one I'm going to throw on the list. And by the way, we're kind of bucking the trend here, but whatever. Uh, Hellraiser, I'm going to throw in here. Ooh, I wouldn't mind nice. watching that again. You know, I have actually... Okay, if you're going to throw a Hellraiser in, I think you have to put a, the, one of the ultimate classic ones, Children of the Corn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yo, are we throwing, are we throwing movies out? Can I throw out oh, Videodrome? How about that? Oh, dude, I uh, I just bought it on uh, on fucking uh, Criterion Collection. So yes, you got a Criterion? Videodrome. In oh, fact, well, you know what? If we're going more, how about Cube Two? <laughs> no, I, I somehow mistakenly forgot to type that into the chat See, here. Another so. Ryan movie I liked. So yeah, can go. we just hey? How about instead of Videodrome, Ryan? I think you'd be game for this. Um, instead of a uh, video drum, we just, uh, what's, what's the director's name? Why am I blanking on his name? Cronenberg. Instead, you just put his name there and then you have a wheel of Cronenberg oh, movies. What body just... horror nonsense do you want to watch today? <laughs> like, yeah, I've never all heard of awesome. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All awesome, dude. But yes, that has been another episode. We dragged that out way too long. Oh, yeah. Uh, but oh, no. thank you so much. And, uh, everybody, why don't you say your goodbyes, starting with Mike again. Bye. <laughs> All right, Paul. Or wait, who's next? Uh, we got who's, who's top right again? We got Paul. Maybe yeah. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Paul. You can find me on the Tales from the Flipside YouTube channel. Um, main show goes live Monday nights around nine thirty. But other than that, we got a bunch of cool stuff. Check out the playlist and see what uh, catches your eye. Sweet. Thank you, Paul. And uh, next, we will go down to Ryan. Hey guys, it's me again. Sorry, uh, from the Fake Nerd Podcast. Uh, again, we're we're live every Sunday. I don't know when we're going to record Sunday, but we're going to be doing it. All right. Um, we're going to be talking about Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh, weird spoilers. It's a pre-recorded show because somebody is going out of town. Spoiler alert: They're also not going out of town because of coronavirus. So our whole schedule is all borked up. But we're going to be there Sunday. Check it out. I'm <laughs> a cowboy. One shot. Got to clean it. Got to open it. <laughs> that. And now Perfect. I, there we go. <laughs> nice. And Ryan, thank you for that view of your sweaty armpits there, by the way. I'm so hot. That. I love that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> How do I follow that up? <laughs> or Pinky's Out Podcast. We've got uh, we've been on a hiatus because of the stupidity going on right now. And uh we're come next week we're recording. It's gonna be a hell of an episode. Cigars, good beer, good times. That's all I can say. Um and pew pew. <laughs> and uh last and last and certainly least due to email, would be cookie hey guys i'm cookie from just little podcast um filming out of my sister's house because i'm visiting my nephew but hopefully more podcasts are coming in soon definitely check me out tomorrow on silver age sundays we talk comics we talk food we talk pop culture we talk anything and everything so definitely check it out um, and I'm a bag of nerves coming up for next week. So, yeah. <laughs> sweet. And uh, yeah, I'm Jackson with Just Annoyed. Uh, make sure you check out. We had a really good long conversation about this last season of Dark this week. So that's on YouTube. It's also on. All I the still have one platforms. episode to go. I have not watched it. So okay. But yes, it is. Uh, it's great. Uh, good. Good conversation, if I might say so myself. And um, everybody, go. Too. 
everybody go watch uh, The Ritual, because uh, my opinion, I'm going to go ahead and spoil this. I think it's fucking excellent and astoundingly terrifying. And I'm not oh, scared of scary so movies. Really, so, yeah, oh. so I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it yeah, so everybody have a good night. Um, and make sure you, yeah, after you watch The Ritual, go camping in the woods. Preferably like in Sweden, in the middle of nowhere. With a few hey, I'm camping next weekend. So <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Have a good one, guys.